Instead of laughing at people and condemning them, let's learn from them. The true meaning of karma. Let's get into it. Get your glasses up. Get your glasses up. A toast to the men. So, brothers, maybe a week or two ago, I came across this clip of a sermon the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan was given. And in this sermon, in this clip, he was saying that we shouldn't laugh at people who fall. We should learn from these people because we very well could be in that same position. And that's so true. That's so true. And many would define this as karma. Um, they would define karma as something bad happening to us as a result of us doing something bad to someone else. And that's just that's just the wrong uh, mindset to have with karma. People define karma as a punishment. And that's just not true. Uh, karma is is a lesson. Uh, you know, and actually you have good karma, you have bad karma, but we're going to deal with the perceived bad karma right now. And actually it's a lesson. It's not here to punish you. It's uh, here to teach you. And this is why um, we shouldn't judge. This is why we shouldn't condemn because we will have to experience karma, not in a bad way, but we have to go through that process of learning, that class of experiencing what that person has experienced to teach us, to guide us to the path of compassion. And that's what it's all about. Karma is not to hurt you, it's to help you get to a place of compassion to make you a better person, better being, so you can identify and perceive with your brother. You can perceive yourself within your brother. You can connect uh, with your brother and see that I am you and you are me. We're connected. We're one and the same, just with different experiences and different perspectives at this moment. Man, most recently, I guess about about four or five years ago, I got my taste of karma. Not in a bad way, but in a learning way where I was able to learn and identify with something I was ignorant towards. I had no idea uh, what these people were experiencing until I experienced it. So I was educated. I was given knowledge and wisdom and I was able to have compassion. Man, there was a time in my life that I used to uh, ridicule or judge men and didn't understand men who were going through custody battles and, you know, things make it uh, contentious and, and, and uh, volatile and things would happen between both parties, uh, the woman and the man. And maybe the man, you know, went too far and uh, went to the extreme in resolving that issue. Man, I used to be like, man, how could you do that? Why would you take it there? Like, I used to see these men as weak. That's because I didn't have their experiences. I couldn't identify with it, um, you know, so I would judge, I would condemn. It wasn't until I was going through that same situation where I was knocking on the door of going over those boundaries, going too far, not to hurt myself, but to hurt someone else, that that is when I understood, okay, that's how you can get to that point. That's how this, this type of thing happens. Uh, I see now. I see. And so that was karma. It wasn't here to punish me. It was here for me to learn, for me to have compassion. And you know what? You got to think about it. If I never experienced that, if I never reached that point of karma to have compassion, I'm not sitting here talking to you about this. I'm probably not even on YouTube talking at all. The book is definitely, this particular book is definitely not written if I don't go through those experiences. And so that's how we got to look at karma, man. It's not here to punish you. It's not here to condemn you or, or chastise you. It's here to teach you. And actually, uh, my brother, Alchemistic Minds, um, 
he is the one that enlightened me, enlightened me on that. Uh, check out his page, Alchemistic Minds with a Z. That brother is a part of the Power Circle. The Power Circle link is in the description. He's one of the ambassadors along with myself. And in a conversation with that brother, maybe two or three weeks ago, we got to talking about karma for some reason. Uh, we talked about a lot that day, but that stood out and that enlightened me and that gave me understanding uh, to what karma really is. You know, even though, you know, I'm here on YouTube in the podcast uh, talking to you guys about certain things when it comes to men and uh, dealing with uh, women in relationships, uh, with kids, I never attributed that understanding to karma. I just thought it was, you know, uh, maturation, the process uh, I had reached uh, or a level or phase I had reached in my life to be able to share these things. But actually, when I look back, that was the lesson I learned, that compassion I learned for other men going through certain things that allowed me to talk to you about certain things now and to write the book. Uh, so, man, you know, we're all going to experience karma. I know we like to sick karma on people and threaten people with karma. But listen, we're all going to experience karma because we all, in, in, in some way or another, have judged or condemned people because we didn't understand uh, or we didn't agree. And I'm not saying you have to agree. There's a lot of stuff I, I don't agree with. Uh, that's the things I don't understand. But I won't judge it. I won't condemn it. Uh, there's a lot of things that are not right. I won't condemn the person. I won't judge the person. I can condemn and judge uh, the act. Uh, but, you know, the person, I won't condemn because I don't know their plight. I don't know how they got to that point. And so, you know, we see a lot of things on social media where a lot, a lot is going on, man. Bill Cosby, R. Kelly, uh, just a lot of celebrities. Things are going on that I don't agree with the act, the acts. I don't agree with uh, what they did. But to condemn or judge the person, man, we're going to have to experience what they experienced, maybe in this life or another life, to have compassion and understand, you know, how someone can go there, how someone can get there. And, and a lot of times, man, I, I'll be honest, we fail with these people. Uh, the community fail with these people when they were ch children. Uh, if you if you look back, and I've spoken on this before, man, if you do your research, a lot of things, uh, a lot of things have, uh, traumatic things have happened to people that uh, inflicted trauma on other people when they were adults. Uh, prime example, R. Kelly, man, we failed R. Kelly as a community. His community failed him. His mom failed him. His, uh, you know, I don't know if his father was in his life, <clears throat> but he failed him. He didn't get the help he needed as a child uh, after being molested by a family member, a female family member, and a male neighbor, an older man. You know, I, I read a story where, you know, this, this brother was molested by an older man in his community when he was a child. And R. Kelly's mom took $5,000 That's hush money, you know? So she wouldn't report the situation to the authorities, to the police. This brother hushed her up with $5,000. That's a failure, man. This, this, this brother's community, his family failed him. So this thing festers in him. It's never, it's never diagnosed, it's never given the proper attention. We fast forward, look, he, he goes on, for decades, you know, manipulating and, and, and violating young women. And I'm hearing now young boys. So I can't judge and condemn R. Kelly. I can't judge and condemn the act. The act is wrong, 100% wrong. But to judge and condemn him, man, you got to walk in his shoes. I ain't trying to walk in his shoes. I ain't trying to experience that karma. Uh, so that's the whole part of karma. It's compassion. And man, if you can acquire compassion without experiencing walking in someone's shoes, hey, kudos to you. Um, but that's why, you know, if you listen to my videos, I'm very objective. I do take stances. 
um, I don't straddle the fence, but I'm very objective and I try to perceive myself in that person and view things from a 360 view. And I don't go too hard on people for that reason, because I do not want to judge and condemn the person. And I don't want to have to experience that karma to acquire compassion. Uh, so yeah, yeah, you know, be, be cognizant of that. Uh, my religious folks, my, my church people, hey, be mindful of judging to my, my conscious people, you know, uh, my spiritual people. Be mindful of not judging the religious people, judging the church. So, uh, like I say, man, this is a school. I'll say it to the day I die. This earth is a school. We're not all in the same class. Uh, and uh, we got to be okay with people being in the class and having the understanding they have. They are where they are supposed to be with the understanding they have. They're in the right grade, they're in the right class. And so uh, every one of us has been in that class before or will be in that class in the future. It's all about understanding. We don't have the same level of understanding, so we can't sit back and judge one another. Or, again, we're going to have to experience karma to acquire compassion. Hey, man, that's all I got for you. Let me know what you think in the comments. As always, from me to you, love, peace.